Hey everybody, it's Old School Nerd. Um, another reaction that a lot of you have asked for that it was on the list. In fact, it's on the list and it had six check marks. So that means that it probably would have gotten done in about three weeks or so. But Headless Goddess was actually put on the request list during the live stream by Daniel Tull. He said, let's do fake gear by Headless Goddess. I've never heard this band before. And when I pulled the video, <laughs> if you see it up here, it says, Headless Goddess, all-female steampunk metal band. All right. Here's the thing. And I'm not saying this is the case, but don't care what your theming is. If you're an all-female steampunk band or you're an all, I don't know, non-binary Barbie drag metal band, it doesn't matter. I don't care what your theming is. You better be able to play. Fortune for me, I looked up Headless Goddess. They're a band from Japan. And one thing I know about Japanese culture is that when they do something, they don't do anything halfway. This should be good. Like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for coming in. The link to this video will be in the description below. Please like and subscribe it and this video. Go to oldschoolnerd.com. It's got all of our social media posts. The Patreon site for those who want to help support the channel. We appreciate every single one of you. And the merchandise store. Yes, right currently, there is a shirt in, there's shirt and hoodies in the merchandise store that say 100% real. And on the back it says, real reactions, real mistakes. Because, me. Here we go. Headless Goddess. Let's check this out. Now, those of you who know me, I appreciate the costuming. I appreciate the design work. I appreciate the fact that they cut gearing in a cogwheel on the symbol. I appreciate the goggles, the decoration of the guitar, the steampunk intricate steam valves and stuff they attach to the top of the keyboard. All that stuff is great. It's not needed, but it's great. A plus for effort on the on the look. Now, we can get past that. Let's get into the music. Seems to be kind of straightforward. Similar, if you guys remember, remember some early band made, right? It's like heavy hitting. But are they straightforward? Are they going to be intricate? We heard a little bit of a growl there. That's kind of unique. See, I'm rubbing my heads together. Why? <laughs> Evil genius, baby. Evil genius. Okay. You want the good news or the bad news first? Okay. The good news is I want to love this band. I want to like the band. I think they've got great theming. I like how they have dual vocalists. One can do a little bit more of a growl, but yet also harmonize with the lead singer. That's great stuff. 
two guitarists, and at some points, one is playing rhythm, one is doing tags, and they can't phrase together. Uh, the bass player in the back there is thrashing the hell out of it. And she seems to be very aggressive. And the drummer plays well with her. And they have um, keyboard accompaniments. That's the good news. You ready for the bad news? Predictable as shit. Follow me along. I'm going to name three bands, okay? And then I'm also going to name another band that we just did a reaction to. I did not like Lorna Shore because the beginning of the song was very predictable. Yeah, it was fast. Yeah, it was aggressive. That's all it was. But then as the song progressed and went through its bridge, guitar solo, and its reprisal, it went very dynamic. I'm going to give you three bands, okay? Love Bites, Band Made, The Warning, okay? Two of those bands are from, the, from Japan, one of them is from, the, from Mexico. When I listen to this band, it is complete cookie cutter, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, guitar solo, Prizal course ending. Industry standard. There's nothing dynamic about the arrangement. And a lot of bands are like that. And there's nothing wrong with it. And I'm not saying they're not good. I'm not saying that they're not, not worth checking out. And I'm not saying that they don't earn everything they have. But when, you're, when your only uniqueness is the fact that you're wearing goggles, that ain't enough. Now, some of you are like, dude, you're hating on this band. No. I'm loving other bands more. Already in the first minute and 40, I've already laid out this song's entire arrangement. Now, have I listened to the rest of the song? No. And is there a possibility that I could be completely wrong and they take a hard left turn and blow my mind? Of course. But if they don't, eh. why? Go listen to a Love Bite song, any Love Bite song, and try to draw a straight line through that shit. You can't. Could you have, could this song kind of equate to you to maybe Thrill by Bandmaid? Maybe. But after that, Ben May decided, you know what? You're never going to drive a straight line through any song we do again. And the warning does the same thing. Very unique, very experimental, all over the place. The only thing they have in common with those bands is that they're all female. So, Ben made Love Bites, and the warning... They're breaking new ground that you've never heard before. I've heard this song in a dozen anime intros, anime cartoons. High, high sounding um, power vocals, but it's very predictable. Again, the classic industry format, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, reprisal, chorus, ending, yeah. If the only thing that makes you unique is what you're wearing, you're going to struggle with me. Now, are there people out there that are going to love the look and love the fact that they're a steampunk band and, and they're all female and they're, and they're playing heavy metal music? Yes. Good for them. But unfortunately, on this channel, this is all y'all fault, not mine. Why? Because all of you put me in front of Bandmade, Love Bites, The Warning, and the list goes on and on. You guys have exposed me to metal music and bands that take the industry standard that I grew up on and that we've been having shoveled in our gullets for 40 years and went, eh, we're on YouTube. We don't need your industry standard. We're not going to be on the radio anyway, so why do we have to do that? The whole idea about playing the industry standard template 
is because it's for radio play. If you're on YouTube and you know that as Bandmade, The Warning, and Love Bites, you're never going to be on the radio anyway, why do you stick to the industry standard? Be unique. Stand out. Tell a musical story that nobody is telling. Because I can go to Comic-Con in two months and see 50 girls dressed like that. And I can turn on the radio and hear three dozen bands play like that. You want to get my attention? Do something different. Is that harsh? Yeah. But it's y'all fault. Y'all are the ones who are putting these amazing, dynamic, unique bands on my channel for me to react to. When I go to something like this, how am I going to go, oh, that's awesome. Remember, I told you before, I warned all of you, this channel is 100% real. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you. And if you don't like that, at least I didn't lie to you. I'm not going to be the reactor that's going to go, they're so cool. Look, they're dressed up like little steampunk people. And oh, they sound like, um, like a bit, like 50,000 other bands I hear on the radio all the time. And I, I, I warned you guys. I warned you at the beginning. If you want me to do a reaction, I'll do it. But I'm not going to lie. And I'm not going to kiss somebody's butt just because they're on YouTube. Nobody kisses my butt. And for everyone that's going to hate this reaction because I'm not gushing all over this band, there are five times as many of you going, thank you for being honest. This is why I'm in this channel. Sorry. Now, I'm going to play the rest of this song. We still got four minutes of this shit. <laughs> and, it, and, I might, and hopefully for me, I'm hoping I'm 100% wrong. I am hoping that the last five minutes that I've rambled about this stuff, I'm completely wrong. And at the end of this, I can go, thank you, Headless Goddess, for making me look like an idiot. That was awesome. I just don't think it's going to happen. girl in the back, guitarist in the back next to the bass player, is the Japanese Mick Mars. Get it by the way she's standing there? She's got that, that hat. Okay. I'm old. Now the guitar solo, what, okay, I had told you that they were going to finish the chorus, then they were going to go, and I've never heard the song before, but I knew they were going to go into a bridge, and then they were going to go into a guitar solo, then they were going to do a reprisal, right? They went to a bridge, then they went to a guitar solo, and then at the end of the guitar solo, they did a double guitar phrasing element that led into this breakdown. That was, I like that. That's really, really good. 
Here's the kicker. If they can take this and then transition this into another layer that does not just fall back to the original chorus, da -na -na, da -na -na, da -na -na, that we've heard on every anime cartoon in the last seven years, then I'm wrong. But if they go back to that original chorus as just a reprisal tag because it's in the formula, Now, I will give them props. The two guitarists are layering very well. Amazing musicianship. The girls are good. Very, very good. However, this arrangement has been done 30 times a day on the radio. And especially in anime, this singing where they go up, and they, da -na -na, da -na -na. it's just, it's been done too many times. Now, if you think I'm not paying attention, if you think I've written this band off, think again, but back it up five seconds. There's something they're doing here that's different than the last two times, which is what I hoped they would do. I was afraid that when they went back into the vocal for that reprisal course, I was like, oh God, here we go. But then I noticed something. And I want to share it with you and see if you catch it too. If you catch it, then you realize, hey, maybe I should listen to another song by this band and see if, hey, because sometimes bands, even Bandmade and Love Bites did it too. Remember the Transylvania song by Love Bites? Granted, it was completely out of the box, but it was for like an anime. It was kind of a tribute to an anime song. So they did have those elements that we've seen a thousand times. If it finishes out, like I think it might, we may have to give this band a second reaction just to see if I'm, if this song is, was specifically asked for to be that template. Maybe they play other styles. This just happened to fall into that trap. I'm willing to give them that shot because I'm not a Japanese female steampunk metal player. What the hell do I know? Back it up five seconds. See if you hear the difference. Ready, go. Here it comes. You hear it? Here? Never mind. What they did was when they went back into the chorus, they broke down to halftime. Listen to it again. They went in and instead of doing, instead of doing this, Dun, 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 the problem that I don't it's it sounds like a horse is running you see what I'm saying the beat is dun, 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 it's it's a running horse like a horse race a lot of animes have that startup and, and that typical Japanese female epic sound where it's you know that that vocal sounding with that race style beat and it's so anime it it, it, it it's hard for me to like it now, they started with it instead of that little beat. Watch, listen to it. They break it down. They did a little bit of a breakdown, and I thought they were going to change it, but they went back to the original. I like this part. The reprisal is cool. Got a good groove there.
All right. Okay. Now I'm kind of torn because I hate anime music. I just don't like it. Why? And it's not because I didn't like it to begin with. I've just heard too much of it. After four seasons of Attack on Titan, I'm just kind of done with it, right? <laughs> Sorry. But seriously, the, that tag on the end, the dun 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 that groove, like that. When they would go away and change the breakdown, change the arrangement, I liked it, but they didn't do it enough, and they kept going back to that formula. The classic radio formula. Now, some people are going to say, well, what's wrong with going radio formula? There's nothing wrong with it. I don't care for it. I just don't care for it. Because I think the, th I think the reason is I've just heard so much anime intro music, and it was that it's the vocals and the keyboards and the drumming. The guitars are great. Bass player was great. But the vocals were that that upper end anime opera it's not operatic because it's not high enough to be but it's 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 anime-ish right and then the keyboards were pushing it right it made it all like cartoonish but the drum beat being like a horse like a horse race dun -dun 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 it's i just there's just been too much of it for me for me now there are some of you they're gonna love this stuff and it's great so Here's your homework, boys and girls, women and men, non-binaries, children of all ages. Here's your homework. I want to be wrong about this band really, really, really bad. Some people don't like to be wrong. I want to be wrong. So those of you who know this band, those of you who love this band, if all of their songs are like this or just as anime, please don't comment about it. But... If I'm wrong, and this just happens to be a song that they wrote on purpose to be anime-ish, and there's something else they do that is more dynamic that's going to catch me off guard, pretty, 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 please, 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 put it in the comments. Rather than shower me with hate about how stupid I am, prove me wrong, please. If they do something that's different than this, that's how you prove me wrong. That's how you get me to shut up. Just arguing with me is never going to work. You want to know why? <laughs> I have three daughters. I hear it all day long. <laughs> Seriously, I want to like this band, but the only way I can like this band is if they break out of the anime theme song mold. I've heard way too many bands like it, and it just doesn't do it for me. Dynamic people. You know how I am. I want dynamic music. That's how I am. But, I mean, the guitarist, very skilled, like the bass player, and, and the harmonies were good. It just was way too predictable. Hell, I predicted the arrangement in the first minute. Told you exactly how the entire song was going to go without even listening to it. When I can do that, pass.